we are back church on the block real talk about hip-hop the church and the streets and we're talking today but real talk about hip-hop and why we even have this in the category right now you may think it's only about christian hip-hop right and there's powerful long-lasting powerful christian mcs who've been killing it and some cats recognize some cats aren't recognized who've been doing it corey red a lavoisier that do uh, all these cats right who've been k drama cats been doing this for a long time but we're talking about the culture of hip-hop and it's bringing hope and healing in the hood you know and oftentimes as believers we are like it's either this or that right and i get that sometimes there's there's maybe a space for some of that but when it comes to us being salt and light in spaces I believe sometime we think that God is Christ's trans. Uh, he's he's over the culture, or he's under the culture. He's transforming. He's within the culture. He's incarnate, and that piece right there sometimes can be a mystery, and that piece right there can be uh, where we may get things cloudy. Meaning that if he's transforming culture, he's within the culture. He's not above it. He's not under it. He, or going around it. He's within it. Right. Imagine coming from this beautiful place, heaven, and coming into this rat infested earth to tr- he didn't be like i'm everywhere i go there's not going to be any rats or rodents and he got he got mosquito bit bites you know he you know his mama had to wipe his butt you know all these things that he experienced as he was with us transforming culture and we see that power in hip-hop but i understand the argument because i as a youth pastor early on in the in the 80s i was telling cats man this music or that music and it was about it was about security and safety for the kids and i want to make sure that they're good and the theology that i was being taught and the theology that was embraced and i'm trying to learn what this means to follow christ in this way in the church and uh, man a bunch of kids threw away like 200 pounds of music and videos and then we went to camp like the next day like the next day we go to camp and those same kids came back after camp and brought to my house more music and, and stuff. And they said, Phil, we gave this stuff away uh, for you the first time. We give it away now because of a conviction of the Holy Spirit. And that taught me something. Let me just be a vessel to open up and let God do what God's going to do, right? L- don't have to control the narrative. I want to be a believer that can create a critical way to think about faith incarnationally, not mentally, not in a control factor, not in a way that is harmful to the degree that you are hurt as as a person of Christ, as a follower of Christ. I want to create it to where you would think critical about your faith and how can your faith be salt and light in that space to bring healing. You know, that's how I see hip hop being in that space. I may not affirm every drill rapper <laughs> in the city of Chicago. There's going to be some some lines there, but there's some drill rapper that might be saying something on track three. They may be like, oh, that was that was a hot, hot, hot piece that they're trying to say, you know? This this whole conversation, it, it takes me back a little bit, you know, somewhere I want to say in the 90s is when my mom, probably around the Stop the Violence movement with, with KRS-One, right, at, right around that time was kind of when she was like, hey, no more secular music in my house. <laughs> and it forced me to sneak and hide and cover up what I was really trying to do. And I missed out on a lot of music during that time because I was doing that. And I think what we have to do now as parents is 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 encourage our kids to to listen to quality good music. Matter of fact, find some for them. If you know you got a son that's like into rap or into hip hop, man, if you don't take that boy to some break dance and stuff or take him to some freestyle battles, place him around some people that that are really into that lifestyle, but doing it in a healthy manner, Christ loving manner, you're gonna lose them to the people who gonna do it, who gonna teach them the wrong way, or her, right? Because now we're seeing a, a fluctuation of female rappers stepping up now, and everybody got to take their clothes off to become a female rapper now to, to make it big. 